people will treat me differently in the sense that they believe because of my appearance, it means I am mentally disabled. And they'll like talk down to me like they're talking to a child. Because if given the chance, I can show people how little my appearance really has a, an effect. Don't look away. So this is a very personal doc that showcases the experience of someone who looks different than average and has grown up looking different than average and had to deal with this his entire life and what he deals with as far as prejudice or assumptions based on his condition, how people relate to him. So one of the highlights for me was him coming to the class and speaking to the students and really just seeing how the children are just so free in their expression and free to ask questions and free in their curiosity in a way that probably adults are adults might probably more likely will make all these assumptions and infer things about him without asking without asking him to express himself and his own experiences and i feel like this entire doc was his opportunity to express his experiences and probably to speak to all those people that in his life have looked at him and judged him you know, just because someone looks different doesn't mean they are less than. And this is a was look into his life, how he cares for his mother, who's dating, looking for jobs, how he deals with friendships, ending and beginning. Um, and he has such a strength and hearing what he's been through and how he's endured is what makes this doc so touching and, and such a personal um view into his life and his life experience. Don't look away. I so appreciate the honesty of this piece, the openness and the willingness to share some really difficult crunchy feelings of how others have treated you and continue to treat you wrong just based on appearance. And there's a real bravery in just laying it all out there from inviting family in to tell the stories of the struggles and the victories, inviting us to watch blind dates and hearing about the cruelness of people was really powerful, but also we got the victories and we got his personality and how he's using this in writing and in acting. And it just felt like a very well-rounded doc where we get days in the life, we get history, we get those loved ones surrounding to to make the picture come into focus. And for me, it just felt like a very clear call to action of reevaluating our prejudices and how we interact with people and how fickle we can all be of privileging appearance over what's inside. So this was a difficult watch because I really felt for him, but He's also so full of life and vibrancy that it was really like hanging with a friend. Don't look away. The aspect I appreciate the most about this documentary is its honesty. It seems to be really hard um, in the industry to treat these kind of subjects uh, that can be difficult um, without falling into stereotypes or sugarcoating reality. Um, and or without forcing feelings of positivity and um, making you feel like everything is fine. Um, but I think what this film re does really well is um, leave you at the end of watching it with uh, a feeling uh, of inspiration and, and positivity and um, a wholesome feeling that is authentic. This has to do a lot with uh, the, the nature of the narrator, the main character, um, uh, who is um, so brave, uh, not so much in like a, a resilience aspect, uh, which of course is there, but uh, most importantly for uh, the, yeah, the bravery that it takes to share such intimate aspects of your life. Um, and it never feels, you know, forced or like uh, as if it's preaching to the audience. So um, yeah, I really appreciated the way the, the delicate the um, delicate way the film treats the subject. Don't look away. Really um, powerful message here. Great title, um, and I like that you guys explained, you know 
uh, what happened to this person from birth and how many surgeries they went through. And I, it's just such a great message of really not judging a book by their cover because you don't really know what somebody's been through. You don't know what you're gonna go through. Nothing is promised to any of us. So whether you don't have anything wrong with you now, that doesn't mean you won't eventually. I mean, I hate to say that, but we just, none of us know. So to judge somebody else so harshly, yes, it's somewhat instinctual, but like he said, it's to the kids. It was like, see something's different, but then just recognize it as different. Don't, you know, make that person feel bad. And I love the children. They had such great questions. And um, I love that he said, I'm a hopeless romantic without romance. Not that that was a good, you know, it was just very well worded, I guess. Not that I love that he's in that situation, but I think we can all relate to that at some point in our lives. Um, I like the explanations of what his deformity was and what's happening with, it was really sad to hear that when he had the nasal reconstruction, that one phase where the doctor kind of just shoved the mirror in his face. I think that's a message to the medical community um, to be more sensitive and empathetic. Even though you see stuff every day, it doesn't mean these people aren't going through it for the first time, each individual person. I think this world needs more empathy to begin with. Um, and I love the sister's interview. It was really nice seeing that she didn't see him any differently sad that she said it was, you know, watching him come home and look in the mirror and cry. It's just, I think it's a statement on our society really as a whole and how we treat people. Um, anyway, I, I liked the, um, production quality. I thought everything was really well presented and, um, I wish you guys the best of luck.